about your three point performance tonight? I mean, you had, I think, six. Talk about that. Um, I mean, it's really a credit to my teammates. I mean, they just uh, happened to find me when I was open tonight, and I just stepped up and was the one to knock them down. It was it was funny because we was on the bench talking, and the whole team is capable of it. So yeah, there's going to be different people doing it different in different nights, but uh, whenever you're open, you just got to be ready to step up and knock it down, and I was the one open tonight. Desmond, how, much, how big of a role do you think you're going to play on offense this year for these guys? Um, like I said, I mean, just when, when the shots are coming to me, I'm going to step up and knock them down. I mean, nothing's changed. We love to share the ball, and every, everybody can score. So it's going to be uh, different guys on different nights, and tonight just happened to be my night. When was the last time you had a night like this? Back in high school. <laughs> I mean, there, we've had great games throughout. I mean, we had Australia was good. Um, last year I had a few, few games like this, but... Uh, I mean, this is probably the best game I've had since I've been here. You guys had a pretty good shooting performance tonight as a team. Is it something that you guys feel in pregame when you're hitting the shots in pregame that you know that you're going to have a good night shooting the ball? Uh, not really. It just really starts with practice. Like Coach said, the last couple practices we had been good, so it just converted over to the game. JD, you looked a lot more aggressive tonight than you were in the opener Friday. Was, did, you have, did you have a different mindset, or were you just coming out trying to do I mean, something different tonight? I mean, you know, I ain't have a too much different mindset. I just know to take the basket, and you know, everything else is going to come. Hey, Desmond, Friday night you were hurt, looked like on the court. Were you afraid it was something bad? Oh, no. I, I, I've been sick early in the week, and um, so I hadn't been eating and, and drinking like I should. So, uh, I mean, it was just cramps, just going through some cramps, playing through some cramps. I think the arena was kind of holding its breath while you were down. <laughs> Yeah, the whole, I'm glad. I'm glad I'm healthy. I'm, sorry, I'm, I'm guessing you're feeling better now. Oh yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Jetty, you were on the court there when the team was chasing a hundred. Were you, did you feel the guys pressing a little bit there? Say it one more time. When you were on the court, when you guys were trying to hit a hundred, do you think the guys were pressing a little bit? Uh, the other team? No, you guys. Like oh, the no, young we guys. We wouldn't press at all. You know, we would have got a hundred. We got it. You know, but if not, it wouldn't have been a big deal. Did you quit during during the offseason? Did you wait to play games? How how good is it for you guys to get the starts that you've had these first two? Uh, this is a great start for us, you know, for down the line. But, you know, we just got to keep it going throughout uh, the rest of our games. Stay solid. Desmond, you finished last year as a starter, of course, in the NIT. Mm -hmm. how, much, uh, how much did that help you? Um, I mean, it was year? big. I mean, like like I said, whoever wh whoever's turn it is, it's their turn. And last year, Jalen just happened to go down. So I was asked to step up into a starting role, which was big for me. And then over the summer, the, the USA camp, that was big for me. And I mean, Coach Dixon, really, I mean, the, the off season, it feels like we really haven't, haven't even stopped since New York. I mean, we got what, about a week off? <laughs> we got a week off. So, I mean, yeah, we've been, we've been going and going hard and just working on our game. So, I mean, just getting better. And I mean, it's a credit to the program that Coach Dixon's building. You mentioned Jalen, obviously. He, he's had to come back. He's hit, I think he was three for three on his threes tonight. What does it mean for you guys to kind of see that he's OK? Oh, it's great. I mean, b before the, our first game, me and him both almost teared up just because they was telling us that he was going to be down until December. And uh, I mean, he stayed true to the process and was able to play in the first game. And as you can see, he's playing well, knocking down shots. It's great to have him back out there on the floor with us. The defensive effort looked a lot different tonight, too, from game one. Is that just kind of getting your legs back under you, getting some experience? Or did you guys work on something specific in practice? Sorry, one more time. <laughs> <laughs> that was a long question. I apologize. Yeah. Uh, the defensive effort looked a lot different. You guys were flying around a little bit more, put in a little bit more trap. Uh, was that just the fact that you've played a game already, you've got your legs back under you, or, or did you focus on that over the weekend? Oh, I mean, Coach Dixon's really just been stressing to us that, that we got to become a better team defensively. So, uh, I mean, we've set a goal for 40 deflections every game. I mean, like JD said, we've had the last uh, last two days have been good days of practice, and that energy carried over to the game. We were able to put it all on the floor. Desmond, how much time did you spend working on your off offense in the offseason? Um, I mean, re really the whole offseason. I mean, that, that's what the offseason's for is to get better, work on what you need to work on. And I, I really just try to improve my conditioning and just stay in the gym as much as I could. Do you think of yourself as an offensive player? Oh, I mean, I'm, every, everybody can score on this team. Everybody can score. Everybody can defend. That's what's great about us. We're, we're a nightmare to everybody. 
and uh, I mean we're just trying to keep keep this thing rolling. Team's five and zero with your starting lineup of you, Alex Robinson, Ken Rich, Vlad, and JD. How would you describe the chemistry between that starting five group that you developed since then, IT through now? Because that I think started back in IT. Um, you know, we've been playing with each other. You know, since last year, since Dixon got here, I think in like May, I think. You know, we all just feel comfortable around each other. You know, we really trust in each other. So you know, we just gotta play through each other through every game.